here's the digs for tonight. Our bags of the double bed. Yuck. Rank. Right, we've been walking about an hour and I think rather than going up to the Bialak, I think we're going to take some Route 1 football over the stream, right up there, directly south will take us up to Dollar Law. It is good to finally meet up with Eddie Stobart, aka Scots World Camper, and with Stevie as well, Puss in Boots. He'll kill me for that. Right, folks. Got about 30 metres to the summit and we're there on Dollar Law. Alright, I can see the trig point which marks the summit. Alright, that's us on the summit of Dollar Law. I need a dollar, dollar, a dollar is what I need. It's a fine, hazy day. Plenty of flat grass for pitching though. If you can't find a pitch up here, hang up your pegs. So that took us two and a half hours, pretty much on the nose from the car to the summit. Right folks, I'm going to show you the campsite. We've got about 1800 quids worth of Hillebergs in my wee cheap Lanshan. This is Eddie's solo. Yeah. Slut red. Obvious choice, nice in the <laughs> thumbnails. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got the Lanshan Pro 1. And Stevie's got his palace, the Alec. There you go. Summit Cairn just there. And we're at an altitude of 817 metres. Right, it's just gone 3 o'clock, it's way too early to settle down for the night, so we're going to push on and I need a Donald out the back there, it's about 3 kilometres out, 3 kilometres back, so Eddie's going to watch the tents. Alright folks, that took us 50 minutes to get across here. That's us at the summit, feeling it like, nothing else for it, that's us heading back, no point in hanging around. That's us back at camp now, took us an hour and fifty, there and back, just under eight kilometres.
Well, it's the back of eight, and we're all just <laughs> milling around the tents. Back of ten. There's Eddie just lurking behind me there. Hello. There he is. Hello. <laughs> There's Puss in Boots. Can you see him? Oh, oh, there's the guilty the ghost. The guilty ghost is back again. <laughs> <laughs> the guilty ghost. Well, folks, it's uh, just after nine o'clock. Rock and roll again. I'm off to my bed. So I'll catch you all in the morning. Cheers. Good morning, campers. Oh. So still. Hardly any wind at all. Dipped down to minus three last night and it's been hovering about minus one this morning and Eddie and Stevie were out back at four this morning and they were saying that there's a cloud inversion outside so I don't know if that's still the case but I'll find out shortly All uh, right Current scenes folks The sun is just about to rise behind me there I don't know if the camera is picking out the cloud inversion, but it's looking good. I swing round. I've got Tinto Hill in that direction somewhere. So it's lucky we've picked one of the higher ones in the borders because we're above the clouds. The camera is zoomed in the moment, but what you can see right off centre there is the Cheviot. And if I pan round, Just in the distance, we've got the Lake District there. My toes are numb, but it was worth it for that sunrise. Oh my god, cannot feel my toes. Look at that behind me. Super boss. Rightio, it's eight o'clock and we're just slowly getting packed up. And then we'll get off and do a couple extra Donalds. Alright folks, it's 20 to 9 and the three amigos are back on the go. Gorillas into the mist. Well, that's us at the summit of Greenside Law, and there's nothing really to mark the, the actual summit, which is not uncommon in the Scottish borders. I've just got a, a sheep skull, which I'm going to take as the summit. Right, after a short break at the summit, that's us back on the go. Right, we're going to disappear into the cloud any minute now, so we're just taking a bearing, make sure we're going up the right bit. The contours on the map are just spread out and wide and this shows on the ground it's very flat and featureless here so we're just keeping an eye on the navigation making sure we 
are heading up towards the summit. Well, this is it, the summit of Black Hill and there's a fence post and two boulders to mark this, the, the summit. I take that back, we're not on the summit. It's, that one there is two metres higher, so we've got a little bit to go. Stevie, you can tell your viewers it's no. <laughs> Summit's over there. Is it? Aye. I'll that one. I know. I just checked the map. This is that's two meters higher. Right. Oh my This is the one it's named on the map though. I could actually edit that out, just pretend we never made that small mistake, but if it saves somebody watching making a mistake, then it's worthwhile keeping it in, I think. You have to watch these Donalds. The summits are not always obvious. Right. There's a pile of stones, that's our summit. I'm taking that. <laughs> Boom. That's more like it. Boom. Right folks, we are heading down this wadi side rig, it's just a broad ridge with an ATV track that we're following that will eventually get us back to the car, so it's a good time to wrap up the video, if you've watched this far thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next one, cheers!